For step nine, you'll need the following parts. You'll need these two five by nine by three bearings, these two gears, this washer, and an E-clip. Hey guys, welcome back to Revolution XRC and welcome to the next part of this Vanquish VS410 Phoenix build series. In this part of the series, we are going to go over the transmission and for that you'll need bag D. For step one of the transmission, you'll need the following parts. You'll need this five by 11 by four bearing and you'll also need these two M3 by 12 cap head screws. And that completes step one. For step two, you'll need the following parts. You'll need the slipper plates, the slipper pads, the spur gear. You'll need this uh, polyurethane washer, this five by nine by three bearing, and this M4 nylock nut. And that completes step two. Also in step two, you'll need the motor of your choice. Here I am using a Hobby Wing X 540 uh, 2800 kV. This is the R2 version. The supplied pinion, the grub screw, which is a four by four, M4 by four, and these two M3 by 10 large, uh, cap head screws, I guess, or whatever you call these. Now I'm loosely attaching this motor right now. Uh, as you can see, this spur is not really fixed in place yet, so I can't really adjust the mesh yet. And that's about it for step two. And to finish off step two, got the spur gear cover. We'll just leave it like that for now and we won't uh, squid it until we're ready to adjust the mesh. Before I move on to the next step, I just wanted to say if you don't have a pair of these side cutters, these are really handy, you should get some. Um, especially if you have parts on sprue, you should use these to get a really flush cut so that you don't have flashing on the parts. and there's minimal flashing there. So really handy tool to have. For step three, you'll need the following parts. You'll need 10 M2 by six 
cap head screws and you'll need two M3 by 12 cap head screws. And that completes step three. For step four, you'll need the following parts. You'll need one two by 10 pin, one two by eight pin. You'll need these two gears, uh, three uh, five by 11 by four bearings, this shaft, this bottom shaft right here, four M2 by six cap head screws, one M3 by 12 countersunk screw, and one M3 by 12 cap head screw. You'll also need to choose between one of these two pieces right here. Uh, this one has a gear shift uh, kind of style cover right here. And that's probably if you want to use it with the interior. The other one is just a flat cover. So you could choose one or the other. I am probably going to choose the shifter for now and see if it'll work for me. Before I seal it up, I'm going to grease these gears.
And for this optional gear cover, you also need these shift knobs, which are these little two very cool things here. All right, well, that completes step four. For step five, you'll need the following parts. You'll need one two by eight pin, an E-clip, four uh, five by 11 by four ball bearings, and you'll need one M3 by 12 cap head screw, and this uh, 23 tooth gear. And that completes step five. For step six, you'll need the following parts. You'll need these three sets. So there's three sets of shafts right here. Uh, these two sets have one five by 11 by four and one five by nine by three bearing. They both have these small washers. And this one is a 30 tooth and this one is a 32 tooth. So make sure you have them correctly. You'll see that this set has a little notch right there or a little step. So just make sure you got the correct sets. So there's three different shafts and just make sure they're, they're correct. Uh, they have the correct pieces for each set.
And that completes step six. Now when you're doing step six, make sure you have the right sleeve here. It should be able to slide over the whole shaft right there and uh, kind of work with the hex shape. So just make sure you have the right one. For step 8, you'll need the following pieces. You'll need 4 5 by 11 by 4 bearings, 2 M3 by 12 countersunk screws, uh, this lockout right here, and the, I guess, the uh, bearing holder. And that completes step eight. For step nine, you'll need the following parts. You'll need these two five by nine by three bearings, these two gears, this washer, and an E-clip. And that completes step nine. Uh, basically, I put the gears on and I put the grease on. I didn't have the camera rolling, but I put the E-clip on here. There's a little washer here. And then just rotate this to make sure it's all greased up. For step 10, you'll just need the following. One M3 by 20 and two M3 by 12 cap head screws. And that completes step 10. For step 11, you'll need the following parts. Four M2 by six screws, the dig arm, uh, two M3 by five grub screws, and these plates. Now when you install these grub screws right here, you want to screw it in until the top is flush with the top of the case.
That completes step 11. For step 12, you'll need the following parts. You'll need this brass pin, four M2 by six cap head screws, and two M3 by five grub screws, as well as the overdrive shifter arm. Now the overdrive arm is going to overlay the dig shifter arm before you put the pin through. Once again, with these grub screws, screw them in until they're flush with the top of the case. Uh, you don't want to go any f deeper unless you want to lock out uh, the shifter. And that completes step 12. For step 13, you'll need four M2 by six screws. And that completes step 13. For step 14, you'll need two M3 by 16 cap head screws, three M3 by 12 cap head screws, and one M3 by 12 countersunk screw. Actually, before we continue on, let me go ahead and adjust my gear mesh first, and then we'll go ahead. Now that we've got the transmission fully built and this shaft right here where the spur is attached to is stable, we can go ahead and adjust the gear mesh. So with my pinion and gear mesh, I like a little clicking noise going on. Let me just double check that I secured my pinion gear. The two M3 by 16s go on the spur gear cover.
And last but not least, the countersunk screw goes on the bottom. Oops. Two millimeter. And it also screws into the spur cover. All right, that completes step 14, and that also completes this part of the build series, the transmission. So thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for the next part of this Vanquish BS410 Phoenix build series. Thanks for watching.